I was found, I was having some cameramen film the installation of a of a precision landing facility that we were putting in right on the edge of the dry lake, and this saucer flew right over him and put down three little gear and landed out on the dry lake bed. And they went out to uh, <coughs> picked up their cameras and moved on out toward him filming. And he lifted off, put the gear back in the well, and climbed out at a very high rate of speed and disappeared. And so while I was uh, going through all the regulation books and finding out the number to call in Washington to report it, uh, I had them go over and develop the film. By the time they got back with the developed film, I was on the higher and higher and higher <coughs> level officer talking to me, finally with the colonel telling me to, uh, you know, when the film arrived at my desk to put it in the carrier pouch, there would be a courier there at my office by that time already, and, and they'd arrange for him to fly in our base airplane back to Washington with these films and uh, do not run prints, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so we stuck them in the courier pouch. Did you watch the film? We didn't have a chance to run it. I had a chance to hold it up to the window and look at it. It was certainly good film. Good close-up shots? Good close-up shot. In my opinion, I think they were worried that it would panic the public if they knew that someone had vehicles that had this kind of performance way back right after World War II, a period of time. So they started telling lies about it. And then I think they had to cover another lie, you know, and tell another lie to cover their first lie, and now they don't know how to get out of it. Now it's going to be so embarrassing to admit that all these administrations have... Uh, They've told a lot of untruths that it's going to be embarrassing to get out of it. I interviewed Gordon Cooper, uh, Mercury astronaut Gordon Cooper, back in the 90s. Cooper said on camera that there was a landed UFO at circa 1957 at Edwards Air Force Base. His camera crew captured the filming of this object, and he uh, presented this to the higher-ups, and eventually a courier jet came in from Washington. He handed the footage over, which was good. He viewed it. That's the last he saw of it. Exactly. Did you know where that footage went of the flying saucer that landed on the tarmac? Went, went to Washington. That's all that I know. Did you try to go after stuff like this? We did. We have. We have. It's there. It still hasn't seen the light of day? I'm saying most of it hasn't seen the light of day. <laughs>